Hello, we start a brand new quarter and this one is on the subject of education. This particular week, number one, education in the Garden of Eden. And we have to begin by saying we really don't know much about the education that God provided in the Garden of Eden. We don't have a curriculum, we don't have any record of what was taught and how it was taught and so on. We have a record that God spoke with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. We have a record, well, let's look at it, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God put the man in the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and care for it. And I'm sure there's some instruction was necessary there. And as they looked around at nature, and as all the animals were demonstrated, shown to Adam and he named them. There was education involved in all of that, I'm sure. How much God said about what had happened previously, we don't know. Clearly, sin had already come into God's universe, and to objectify sin kind of is the wrong perspective already. The devil had chosen to operate in opposition to good. Maybe we could say it that way. That had already happened. And how much God could say to Adam and Eve about all of that without prejudicing the whole issue of the great controversy in the minds of Adam and Eve, we can't really say. I'm sure there was something said because there had to be some kind of recognition of who the serpent was and, and so on. But I don't think that God could say so much. Uh, otherwise, that would have kind of spoiled the whole freedom of choice, freedom of expression issues, even as God put the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the garden. So there's all of that to be thought about too. But the more important thing is that God was involved in the educational process and that he's not anti-education. Uh, some people like Ingersoll, you see the notes in this time, and others, Clarence Durrow, uh, Richard Cadry, are saying that God is anti-knowledge because he put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden and told them not to eat it. No, it's the knowledge of good and evil and particularly the evil aspect that has to be thought about there. I do like that quote from C.S. Lewis, education without values, as useful as it is, seems rather to make man a more clever devil. And I really believe that, that we have to make sure that we not only educate and inform, but we give principles and values as well as the basis by which we should operate, as the basis which we live our lives. And I thinking about my own education experience, I think that I didn't really learn too much of that, certainly not in the secular school system that I attended. Far more important was my home background with my parents and going to church and so on, learning about God and what he's like and what he wants for us and the principles of his universe. That to me is the most important thing that we should be looking at. I've put in the comments for this time a contrast between the Garden of Eden and the Garden of Gethsemane because there you have two very contrasting experiences and you might want to look at the two different ways in which things worked out in those two different gardens. You start with perfection and of course it all goes downhill in the Garden of Eden and then you have the Garden of Gethsemane, which is already in a deplorable condition because of sin, in the sense that uh, that's where the devil attacks, but Jesus is victorious. So take a look at that and think about those two different gardens and what you learn from that. This is education that we're talking about. I pray that, that as we look at education in the Garden of Eden, and subsequently as we look at the lessons to come, that we understand what God really wants in our lifetime. Adam White's comments, the first one. The system of education instituted at the beginning of the world was to be a model for man throughout or after time. 
As an illustration of its principles, a model school was established in Eden, the home of our first parents. The Garden of Eden was the schoolroom. Nature was the lesson book. The creator himself was the instructor. And the parents of the human family were the students. And I do like that whole perspective of looking at what God has made, his creation, marred by sin to be sure, but thinking of what God has done, all the beauty around us that we still see, and the fact that God is our God and wants us to learn and come to know him. May God bless us all as we study about education this particular quarter.